that if you're a small business, you, there's nothing negative on the horizon. Nothing. What's negative? They're going to give you less regulations for Obamacare. They're going to give you a tax cut. Everything is, is, this, everything is neutral to positive that can come their way versus an, an atmosphere for the last 16 years, let's call it, that we that's can, been regulation, regulation, regulation. Can we break out of the GDP doldrums? People, people I say actually it's, think, it's population and I, it's I productivity. I think that these guys, again, are too negative. I'm not, listen, they're not going to get to 4% growth in the long They'll term. They'll get to 3 You know, maybe, let's say if it was 2 and a quarter, maybe you could pick up a half percent just with this three, deregulation. 2 and 3 quarters for 17 No, no, I'm saying, oh, I'm saying I think the long run in okay. a deregulatory could be a quarter, half a point higher. If you talk about 17 or 18, yeah, you could be, you could be three and a half, you could be much higher in the near term. So you, we can do it again. A lot of people You're think saying do it again, that they're going to get the higher growth track. It's no, just the demographics right People say we can't do Listen, it. Listen, the other side of it is if we don't do anything stupid on trade. Right. Don't forget that. We can do, hopefully we, we, we do smart trade policies here and don't get crazy on, on, on crazy trade policies and, you know, do things that are mutually, it has to be mutually beneficial for your partner to do a good deal. That's the, the way you get a good deal done. We've done a lot of deals. Can possibly screw this all up? I mean, we were talking before about the Fed being behind the eight ball in terms of raising interest rates. Is a risk here that the Fed has to catch up so much that it's a shock to the markets? I mean, I know you say waking me up when it's 4%, but traders could easily freak out in advance uh, if you see a sharp move higher in rates. Well, listen, they're so far behind the curve that they, you know, they can, they may have to, if you get after the French elections and you get these tax cuts, they're going to have to move incredibly fast. Nobody's As I said, that, that one percent, because, because it's crazy. Janet Yellen was saying three years, again, right. for 1% real. That's just wrong. It's wrong if you get the good things happening. It's not wrong if there's no tax cuts necessarily. Uh, certainly if the French election goes the wrong way, it's not wrong. Not wrong. But it's going to be dead freaking wrong. Wrong. I'm not going to, let me, let me not pull a punch here. Wrong. If you get the good things to happen, which is a distinct possibility, you're going to bet against these tax things. You're going to bet against the French election. You better be. You better be ready. And the market has to get ready for June increase, yeah. September increase, December increase, and maybe more than that. This is fallacy that says the Fed won't go in non um, uh, press conference. Uh, no, right. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> They'll go a lot because they're so far behind. We're that 1% real. If you're running 2 and a quarter percent inflation by the end of the year and, and you have all these things happen, I think the real rate should be higher sooner because you have all these things happen. Maybe it should be 3 and a quarter. So she's not going to be 3 and a quarter at the end of the year. If she goes up right now, if she just does 91, if they do the 25, which is a 100% chance now, you're 91 basis points. But is, if that's 91 the case, basis if points. they raise more rapidly than anyone's expecting, more than three rate hikes this year, are stocks then going to look more expensive, just relatively speaking? Well, again, you know, look at the multiple. The multiples aren't, as some people, you had people on the other day that were talking about 20 multiples. That's, the 10 years just not that high a yield. And the rates are not that high. And even if they do go four times, four times this year, forget about two times or three times, four times, they'll be at 191. So they'll still be fairly low versus where they should be. So but you're still be going to be moving faster than people expect into Melissa's yeah, point. Yeah, but the you're still going to be relatively pay. easy money out there. Okay, relatively easy money. Now, the question is they have to go at a pretty good pace not to get further behind. Right. So the question is how many times do they have to go this year? So I'm sure that the Fed funds odds are going up as we're speaking, and there's a better chance so, that they'll go three times more this year than so two times more this year. The question is should they be pricing in a fourth time this year? And only a fourth time because it's not necessarily bad if they do the fourth time because you right. don't want them going seven. You don't want them to go eight times next, next year. year. Right. Okay. You want them to have some sort of pace that they're not so far that they don't have the to really ramp it up. Really, right. So the, she's, you know, they're going to talk next week. They got to recognize this. They should talk about potentially the upside of international factors. Forget about this tilting, this 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 droggy fantasy nonsense, you know, crapo stuff that he put out, you know, heroin induced uh, sort of stuff that he put out. It, it's it, they have to be, talk about the upside to things. That's enough about this downside. We've had eight years of downside. Why do we got to be negative? Let's be positive. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.